there and uh, welcome to a new GIMP video. Yep, we're doing that again. Messing with GIMP. And uh, well this time, well I'm just gonna see what I'm gonna do. I don't really know what to do. I'm out of ideas at the moment. And uh, soon I will be gone for a week. So uh, that, that might give me a little bit of time to uh, come up with some new ideas. And if I'm lucky, I don't know how good the recording will be, but if I'm lucky I might get uh, some footage from that uh, from that trip. I'll be gone for uh, four days I believe. Uh, I'll be going to Malaga, to southern France, uh, 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 tch, no, south of Spain, not France. Anyway, um, we'll see what it becomes. Uh, but if it is good, I uh, that will probably be my next video. Well, no, probably not, uh, because uh, I need to edit it all. Anyway, you'll 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 see an entry about that soon. Anyway, in one of the in a few weeks at least uh, at, at most. Uh, for now, GIMP. Yeah, uh, this probably is going to end up in making some kind of an avatar, uh, or probably uh, what I say, not avatar, a wallpaper. Most likely a wallpaper, or something similar like that. Or maybe I could actually just prepare a template for uh, for my thumbnails uh, that I make. It saves me a lot of time to make everything from scratch, like. Uh, Say, for example, a few different kind of backgrounds in the same ex uh, in the same game file saves me time because all I have to do is switch between layers. Easy. I could add other uh, elements, uh, also basic uh, elements, into it that I can adjust afterwards. Um, as I said, I have no no nothing planned here. I I need ideas. So we're just gonna start, let's see. Uh, wait. First, I gotta shrink me. I got to shrink me. Here I go. Whee! Little me in the corner. <laughs> yeah, this is good enough. Okay. Let's start with a uh, new. Let's just start. This is a good size. It should be good size for uh, for thumbnail stuff. Fit in window. That's better. So I was going to make a few backgrounds to be used, and then a few of those skull faces that I make for those thumbnails few variations just I'm just preparing a template to be used for future uh, for future thumbnails so this is not going to be for a current thumbnail this is just going to be a, a template to make those thumbnails so that I don't, don't have to repeat all the st same stuff again and again and it, it's possible that this video would end up becoming uh, two parts or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. First of all, this is just basic black. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it basic black. There you go. New layer. I'm not gonna give it a name yet. Uh, now I'm gonna add black and then uh, add some renders, add some uh, variation into it. I'm going to do a difference clouds, uh, x like this, y like this, no other side, other side like this. Uh, randomize. 
turbulent. Yeah, no, tolerable. Yes. Okay. Details. Plenty of detail. That this showed up maximum. Okay, that should be more than enough. All right. Here we go. And we're going to overlay. Oh no, wait, that's both the same color, so that's not going to make much difference. Maybe I should add a different layer in between and give that layer a different color. Let's say this. Yeah, simply this. Now use overlay. Ooh. Fiery. Hot. Kind of bright. And burn. Ooh. Very nice. Like infrared. Kind, kind of. Oh, well, well. Anyway, this is a nice variation. I'm going to put those two in a group. Uh, layer group. Back, good round, set one. Okay, now this, come on, and this. And, uh, okay, that's that. I can always change this by setting a different uh, mode. Uh, let's say multiply. Gives you more. Yeah, that's a dirty color. I don't like that color, but yeah, anyway, you get the idea. I can change it, a lot of things. This is an interesting color, an interesting set. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, hide, oh, hide it, and uh, new layer again. Yes, this time outside of this group. I'm giving that one, oh, this gone. I'm giving that one a different color. Oh, let's say, uh, yep, red. And again, new layer. We're going to uh, apply red again. But this time we're going to set, the, we're going to add another filter. A different filter. Oh, come on. My mouse is double clicking sometimes. It's very annoying. Uh, which, what, what's going to use different render nature flame? No, no pattern. Diffraction pattern. Mm, yeah, yeah, well, let's try that. Uh, th that doesn't really matter actually. Actually. Preview is not very helpful, it's really small. Anyway, I'm, I'm doing it like this. We'll see what happens. Brightness uh, scattering, increase scattering, uh, polarization, oh, a lot more. Brightness just a little higher. Let's see, I have no idea what result it will be. Whoa! Ooh! Flashing! I can't leave it on that. Burn! Yeah, we got that red effect again, but more intense. Multiply. Well, you don't see much about it. Let's green merge. No, green extract should be very. Yeah, that's, that's better. Okay. Let's put that in a new layer. That's background set, back, ground, set, uh, yeah, set, two. Okay, uh, put this in here, uh, in here, not above, oh, come on, in here, in here, oh, underneath, like that, okay. 
what would this do? It would do absolutely nothing. Okay. New layer. Let's place that above. Hide this and uh, make one more background variation kind of thing. And uh, again, using another render. This time, let's uh, try look for another. Okay, uh, render. Which render should I choose? Another clouds, but this time different kind of clouds, more foggy. Yeah, pink. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, just a little lower. Transparency. There we go. Turbulence. Increase turbulence to four. Here we go. And yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna merge down. Okay. Uh, let's see. Difference. Ooh. It's subtle, but that's how I like it. Subtract. No. That's a completely. That's no good. Grain extract? Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of like this. Value? No, the only one that really, that's really fitting is this. Grain extract. Yeah. That, that looks good. Again, I'm making another group, layer group, uh, call this back round set tree yeah not such a special names but this is just a working template thing for myself it works for me that's all that matters but now you can also see what I use to make all those thumbnails at least from now on before that I just yeah, I just made some something on, on the spot, nothing special afterwards. And again, a new layer, but this time it is for a different thing. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to make a new layer group. Yeah, I'm already making a new layer group. This is for faces, skulls. Faces, there we go. Come on. Okay. Let's make a few of those uh, faces. Or better said, skulls or whatever. We'll see. Uh, this is number one. Oh, oh, no. This, here we go. Uh, yep, like that. We're going to fill that with the background. That's why uh, that color can be removed. Okay, now I'm going to shrink, shrink this, move it, that's one eye, and, uh, oh, oh, that was not my intention, yeah, okay, uh, select none, here we go, and I'm going to cut what's inside. And another one, a little smaller, giving it a little funny feel to it. Okay, like that. Like that. That's better. Again, cut. Free shape. Yep, free select tool. And we're doing one nostril and then another one. Like this. Like this like this, and then this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, select none. This this could work. Now the mouth that's simple. I'm going to rectangle again. No, I'm going to use this. And we're going from this to this angle about here and then making a thin line in between here we go edit uh, cut and no stop now some teeth we're going to uh, going to make a new layer I've done this like this before this and then this okay and uh, fill that with, uh, with red yeah fill here we go now <coughs> Select none and uh, select by color. That that works. That works. Then move. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to start making teeth. We select the layer below and delete. Go back to the top one and move it now like this oh wait select none to the bottom one uh, this time we go we select this again and select button one and delete yeah I'm going to edit this part out all big to the last teeth because there's a lot of teeth okay <clears throat> that's it those are the teeth it took a little while but I got it right I think uh, this layer I'm gonna move up just 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 for just in case Anyway, that's one phase. Um, I've been recording for a while. I'm not sure. I think I might call it here. Uh, we're gonna make. We're gonna add more phases to this, but that will be in the ne next episode. Yeah, I just want to do something else. We got this ready. Uh, that's that's good enough. Here we go, like that. And uh, yeah, that that could work. The, this this could work. Yep. All right. Uh, next time I'm gonna add more faces, more skulls, and uh, that's pretty much it for this template yeah it's not a final work it's just a template it's something i'm going to use for for my videos for my thumbnails anyway i'm going to save it save it as save as uh, thumbnail template own videos yeah okay that's pretty clear there we go yeah that's it yeah so next episode I'm going to uh, make a few more edits a few more uh, variations of those faces to it and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Remember, like it, 
sub if you haven't yet and hit that bell and uh, well yeah that, that see you next time bye